Hi, Phil Aston here from Now Spinning Magazine. Now this is episode six in a in in a series, which is a playlist all on its own, that those of you who've been with me a long time will remember. And it's the series where we're unboxing the Bebop Deluxe, Deluxe Editions. Now, Chris Wright, who's one of Now Spinning Magazine's patrons, he's been there since the very beginning, has really helped do very detailed overviews of these fantastic box sets from Cherry Red and Esoteric. So we've had um, Axe Victim was first, then we had Futurama, Sunburst Finish, and Modern Music, Live in the Air Age, and now it's the turn of drastic plastic literally i think the last one of these we did was january 2022 so it's been one hell of a gap but anyway for those of you who are still here waiting to see the, the basically the the full picture of the bebop deluxe box sets they're all in a playlist so you can go back and watch them each one in turn as chris tells the story of the band through these box sets so without further ado let's dive in and over to chris Hi there, and welcome to my review of Bebop Deluxe Drastic Plastic Deluxe Edition by Cherry Red Esoteric. Very pleased to finally get round to this and uh, to present what I think is a fantastic box set and really rounding off the series of Bebop Deluxe box sets so brilliantly. What we have here is a six disc set, four CDs and two DVDs. Presented again in this beautiful uh, folder with these amazing uh, master tape covers on them, telling us, giving us so much extra information about what's here. Really atmospheric, really bringing you into the uh, the whole thing of this 1978 album that uh, was, a, in fact, a drastic... I mean, Drastic Plastic was well-named because it was a drastic uh, departure from the previous studio work. Bill was undergoing many changes at the time, and this was the direction he was headed. Of course, ultimately, this was to be the end of Bebop Deluxe, much to my annoyance at the time, but I, I completely understood Bill's artistic uh, need to do it. So like I say, this is just a beautiful presentation. I love how these discs are presented, and uh, if we just go into a bit more detail, we'll just talk about each of the discs. The first disc has the original stereo mix of the album, plus a range of bonus tracks, uh, and uh, they are really worth uh, worth a listen. I would say there's good reasons why they weren't on the album, including the single Japan. They didn't really mix some of those with the album material. On disc two, we have a, a range of additional tracks and sessions, uh, and also a BBC Radio 1 sight and sound in concert, that's also on the later DVD and a John Peel session on that one too. Uh, on Drastic Plastic CD3, we have uh, the new stereo mix by Stephen W. Taylor, uh, as well as the singles and EP tracks uh, mixed, remixed too. Disc four is the actual demos for quite a few of the tracks here. Uh, these are Bill Nelson's original demos, and they're very, very interesting, giving a good insight into his artistry. And then we have a DVD audio disc for disc five, and that is uh, a 26, 2496 uh, 5.1 surround stereo mixes as well, and the original stereo mix album all on uh, there, plus the singles and EP tracks. The uh, sixth disc is DVD audio and video with the uh, sight and sound in concert. Very memorable. Remember watching that at the time. And also uh, footage of the band recording in the south of France. And we'll talk quite a bit about that in a moment when we look at the uh, when we look at this fabulous book that comes with the set. Just move the uh, poster out of the way. We'll again talk about that in a while. The fabulous cover designed by Hypnosis, uh, of course, very much the fashionable uh, cover designers of the time, uh, to uh, an instruction by Bill on, on how he wanted that artistically directed. And again, this booklet is, is just superb and takes us right into the world of drastic plastic. And uh, here we have, uh, again, the track listing, uh, which, as I say, is marvellous and, you know, 
this is what any collector would have dreamed of. And then we have a very good essay from Bill about his changing mood at the time, about how he was more and more disillusioned with the world of uh, Bebop Deluxe. I think he just wanted to move on. So they encamped to uh, Villa Saint-Georges in one les pan in the south of France, very relaxed setting. And I think it shows in these photographs here, which are taken on location. And here we see on the right, uh, Bill Nelson, John Leckie and producer and tape operator Hayden Bendel in the Rolling Stones mobile that was taken down for the uh, recording sessions in beautiful weather. And I think you can see there's quite a relaxed mood here. These pictures, Bill talks about this in the uh, in his narrative, and it, it very much comes across in these uh, pictures, doesn't it, of uh, a very relaxed atmosphere. And I think a very a very good mood in the band at the time. And that comes across very much in the music of Drastic Plastic, which I've always found to be quite a quite a upbeat, optimistic kind of album. As I say, very, very different from what went before. Um and there's this famous picture again of the the, the reverse cover of uh, the album with the TV shot of the TV heads. <laughs> this picture I don't think is actually of the same period as uh, Drastic Plastic because that was used in the program for the uh, early 1977 UK tour that I saw them on. So they've, they're, I think they've filled in a few pictures here. Um, probably didn't have enough pictures of the time. So there's a, a kind of mixture here from... I believe, anyway, uh, I'd be happy to be contradicted, but I believe these are from uh, an earlier uh, earlier session, but they're nonetheless very, very interesting and great to have here. And then we have more contemporary photographs of the band on stage, and these are really a highlight of these uh, of these books because they're beautifully reproduced, these great mono shots, um, absolutely fantastic. And uh, great picture there of and Andy Clark. Charlie Toomer high on the bass, Simon Fox, and you know, really just what a fantastic band they were. Great shame that it all ended, but that was Bill's decision, and uh, I guess that you know he would justify that. He doesn't have to justify it, but certainly artistically, he he was going in a different direction. So great shame because I would have loved to see this band still going today, <laughs> but that's just the way of it, isn't it? And uh, Bill was never a musician to uh, want to sit on his laurels in the way that you might get a tour by Kiss or something like that with all the old hits all the time. Bill was never going to be that kind of artist. So, I, I mean, that's that's the nature of it. Uh, also reproduces some press releases here, which is, again, you know, great reading uh, and some... Uh, Panic in the World, the single. There's some uh, great uh, single uh, cover copies there. Just beautiful stuff to look at. And just an amazing presentation once again. And, you know, when you think about how this is built up over the uh, over the uh, albums in these deluxe sets, it's just a wonderful, wonderful way to remember the band. And I just love dipping into these from time to time. And this booklet is well up to the mark of all the others. Uh, as I say, just some of those earlier photos, maybe, but I don't think that's particularly crucial. Uh, so having looked at those, we'll now have a look at the poster, which is always very difficult to show you in the screen format. So I'll just fold it out, but I'll superimpose a uh, an image of this over the top so you can see more easily what it's like. This is a uh, tour poster. Annoyed me greatly because they didn't come to Ipswich on this tour, but there you go. Um, I think it's slightly shorter tour than previously and uh coming up any moment now we have the uh program and this is uh the actual tour program and these have been a common thread again throughout the deluxe series and uh, you know very nice to have these not reproduce full size but uh, reduce size but just beautifully uh beautifully done and you know some nice narrative in there and some more pictures from the south of France, where they had encamped. Great stuff. And some photographs of Bill's there, who's a keen photographer. Some rather nice work there. And the inevitable adverts. Artists were obviously, sorry, manufacturers were very close to be, very keen to be close to an artist like Bill. Yamaha, a company he's well associated with. And then on this next uh, Page Hagstrom, the patch 2000 synthesizer guitar that he used on the album. And there we have uh, 
all the uh, all six Bebop Deluxe albums, including the live album. And another feature of the uh, sets is these lovely uh, photographs of the period. Although, again, I question this is off the period. <laughs> but nonetheless, I don't think it matters. They're just wonderful to have uh, of the four band members. These postcards are a wonderful souvenir. So really, the whole thing just stitches together beautifully again. I can't recommend it highly enough. I imagine there's still copies out there. There probably won't be for much longer. I know some of these box sets are completely sold out these days. So I wouldn't hang about if you're looking to get one. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this look at it. Thank you, Chris. Thank you so much for doing that. It's very enjoyable, very detailed. And as I said to all of you who watched this, all the other Bebop Deluxe box sets have been unboxed in exactly the same way by Chris, which you can find in the playlist. You'll find the link straight from the end of this video, or you can just search for playlists and there is a Bebop Deluxe one set out specifically for this series. So thank you for watching everybody. Please check out the merch store. You can buy lots of t-shirts, lots of designs, different colors, coffee mugs as well. Uh, you can support Naspany Magazine in lots of different ways. And thank you all of you who are helping me follow my passion here. And thank you again to Chris for such a great um, initiative and detailed review of the Bebop Deluxe sets been absolutely fantastic but they're all together now so remember music is the hero and the doctor please take care keep spinning those discs and I'll see you all very very soon